Hi, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Grocery Land. We just finished week 10 of our $45 grocery budget challenge and pantry build. We are accumulating so much food that we have lots of choice of what we want to eat. And I've actually even been able to conscientiously start to bulk buy items for pantry stock up. So that's fantastic. We haven't been eating a huge variety because we are currently um, conducting some renovations at our house. We are incredibly busy. So we have been focused just on really quick, easy meals. Check out what we were able to get this week and the meals that we've made. Last week, I made some choices that started to stock up my freezer. I'm continuing that this week in week 10. Sobeys, I purchased two club packs of sausages. You can see I put them in the freezer right away. Regular 13, $5 off each one. So I got each one for $8. And then I got some chicken thighs for $3.47, $5.47 minus the two. I got two jalapenos and I redeemed some fast fuel uh, coupons. They sell them by the pound there. So it was $1.67 for the two. I used $1.40 fast fuel. So my grand total was 27 cents. I used a hack to get bacon for $2.99 a package. And it was purchase five packages of bacon at $4.99, worked out to $24.95. Redeem 1,000 scene points to save $10, bought the price down to $14.95 for five packs. Get 1,000 bonus points, so that will hit my account um, 48 hours after the transaction. So I'm equal for my points and I got the bacon for $2.99, five packs. You might wonder why is there four packs here? It is because I traded a package of my bacon for some farm fresh eggs. So $14.95, the price was for the bacon and the eggs. I wasn't planning on getting whole chickens at Superstore, but when I was in there, I could not not get these. They were already on for $2.49 a pound, and then they were 50 cents off, so that worked out to $1.25 a pound. That's too good to pass up, so I decided to redeem, because with the bacon and the sausages, I'm, I'm very close to budget, no room for more chicken. So I decided to redeem uh, 10,000 PC Optimum points, that gives me $10. So I picked the two smallest chickens that I could find, 887 and 982, 50% off, which gave me enough to get this can of corn. I've been wanting a can of corn because sometimes I use it in some fun summer salads. So the grand total was $11.13. You can see here that I redeemed $10 from loyalty. And so my grand total was $1.00. And 13 cents right there. I dropped, stop, blah, tongue tied. I shopped at Giant Tiger, $2.88 for the rainbow peppers. And I shopped at Walmart for the um, tortilla chips. And of course, because this is more of a snack food or considered a snack food or convenience food, there was tax. So they were $2.67 plus 40 cents tax, $3.07. So my grand total is $41.77 cash out of pocket. A little more than where I was, I'll be honest, than where I was hoping to be right now. I'd like to get a bag of apples and some spinach or some lettuce. I thought I was getting lettuce tonight, um, $2, but... It didn't ring in at that, and I was in a rush, so I just left it. So, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to be able to manage to get apples and some kind of greens. I might be eating dandelion greens again, but those were okay. Those were fine. Just this time of year is a little bitter, I've heard, for them to be used as fresh eating. 
chicken noodle soup for lunch today and a few little blueberries that are left over. I'm going to make nachos. We were kind of looking around in the freezer for a small package of ground beef. I thought I might have had a package that was a third of a, a pound, but I didn't. So I had my hand on one of my half pound packages and I was just thinking that's way too much. When I got the bright idea to use one of the hamburger patties, so this is just 100% beef that I just got at Sobeys last week. So I'll, gr I'll cook that up with the onions and we'll use that to top the nachos. Exciting. Getting ready to go into the oven. This is the Hint of Lime nacho chips, the one um, hamburger patty, and it was a lot of ground beef. I could have certainly made do with half of the patty, but we're greedy tonight and we are eating a full patty on this nachos. There's mushrooms, there's red peppers, and there's jalapenos. Oh, and I added some of my leftover taco seasoning into the ground beef when I fried it with the onions. Last week I made a summer salad and I used half of one of the avocados that we had. The other half will work perfect um, to go with our nachos. Nachos with guacamole and salsa, homemade salsa. Mmm. Peach banana smoothies today. I'll add spinach in once I get this um, grinded up really well. As you can tell, we already started drinking them. Pretty tasty. And it's interesting that not much spinach gives it that green flake, that green coloring. Tonight we are having sausages, potatoes, and green beans. I'm going to plate it up. Sausages, potatoes, and green beans. Hamburger for lunch. I'm at 47.02. I still haven't bought any apples or any lettuce. I'm doing not great. But I did buy pickles, uh, $2.88, and all those these all those these say great value, which we know is Walmart. I bought these at Bargain Harley's. And then I got this markdown, um, these markdown croissants, marked down to $2.37. Um, our renovations continue. We are just slammed and looking for alternatives to hamburgers for some fast meals. So I was thinking that I could make sandwiches with these. Very simple supper tonight. We've both been um, working on the runoffs all day. Uh, it was really hot. We don't have much of an appetite, but we are going to have some sandwiches on croissants, cold cut sandwiches with tomatoes and pickles and a few cut veggies on the side. Chicken noodle soup for lunch today. We are having egg, back bacon, cheese, and tomato sandwiches for supper. Breakfast for supper. Chicken noodle soup for lunch today. This is the last of the chicken noodle soup. I stopped after work today into Sobeys to see if there was anything that I could grab for a salad that I could use my fast fuel coupons for. This spinach, so it's not in perfect shape, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to get all the good stuff out of it, it was on sale for $1.50. These sprouts were $2.49 with a dollar off tag, marked down to $1.49. So I thought, okay, great, we can use those. We've got tomatoes at home, we've got peppers, um, some cucumber, that's great to make a salad. Maybe wouldn't it be nice to have just a little bit of clementine on top and they were selling them by the pound so i thought okay i picked out a small one and i thought oh it was really small so i thought okay well i'll get a bigger one it can't be that much yeah it bring in at 79 cents for that clementine 79 cents for that anyways i ended up paying 45 cents for all of this stuff um, and I'm excited about this we can use it tomorrow night in a stir fry I'm pretty happy with what I was able to salvage from the spinach this and this will be salad for supper tonight 
this is in excellent shape to go in the fridge. And then I bagged up some that was in okay shape. Not what I'd want to have for a salad, um, but I'm going to freeze it and we can have it for either smoothies or dips. And just this little teeny bit is going in the compost. Tonight we are having chicken thighs with a garden salad. And I topped the thighs with my homemade breadcrumbs. I'm not sure why we served up both of them on the plate. That was a lot of chicken. Um, I only ate one and the handsome ones is coming back. He's almost done his meal. We'll be able to have chicken um, and salad again tomorrow night. Spinach salad today for lunch. Tonight we are having pork stir fry. We used the last of the stir fry veggies, some of the yellow pepper that we had, and lots of the bean sprouts. We used soy sauce for the sauce. I've got all of these freezer items sitting out now because I am reorganizing the freezer. We have so much food on this limited budget pantry build that I can't even keep it all in the freezer here anymore. A lot of the food is downstairs. So just upstairs alone, there's those three boxes of burgers. Downstairs, there's three additional boxes of burgers. There's two club packs of sausages here. Blueberries, cherries, peaches, not many peaches left. Blackberries, a few shrimp. We've got broccoli, peas, beans, mixed vegetables, peppers, broth. This is the spinach that I froze. Three whole chickens more broth, meat, that's pea meal, bacon, ground beef, ham, veal, chicken breast, and some English muffins. Um, all of the bacon that I have is downstairs. Just a lot of food, but this just shows um, what we have left freezer-wise just in the upstairs freezer. Quite a bit of food left. We're getting low on potatoes, flour, some nacho chips, oil, spices, oatmeal. What is this? Oh yeah, sloppy joes. And down here, broth, pasaroni, rice roni, stove top, rice, some vegetables in the back, flakes of ham, pasta sauce, beans. Pasta, noodles, one oat nog, lots of soup. We've got eggs left. We have cucumber, jalapeno, spinach, bean sprouts, and the back is mayo, yogurt, bacon, and not the good bacon that is in the freezer. Cold cuts. We have one stick of that butter left some cheese, mushrooms, tomatoes, peppers, some avocados. We have onions, carrots, celery, and one wrinkly old parsnip and a little piece of turnip. We have pickles, pickles, ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce, soy sauce, and oat milk. So as you can see, I am certainly not afraid to be flexible with my plan. When you go into a store and you just see one of those buys that are too good to leave behind, instantly I just decided to redeem PC Optimum points so that I could take some of those home with me. It just makes sense and I'm totally willing to spend the points uh, for something that is so fantastic. Same, same with things that are in the flyer. It may not initially be what I had thought that I was going to buy that week, but sometimes when the flyers come out and you see those specials, that's what you focus on. And then you build your meal plan from the food that you already have, plus those sale items. That, that's how it is um, doable to eat really inexpensively. 
Anyways, you got to have a plan, but you got to be flexible with your plan. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you would do so. Um, let me know where you're watching from and share your comments. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a fantastic week.